Let's talk about cell division. Why do cells divide? Cells can divide and make exact copies with the same number and kind of chromosomes, or they can divide and make unique cells with half the number of chromosomes. These are called gametes. When would a cell make exact copies? When it grows, when an organism is injured, and when cells need to be replaced. The exact copies of cells are made by mitosis. Consider the human karyotype shown here. A karyotype is a photograph of chromosomes taken during mitosis. If you count the chromosomes, you will find that there are 46. This is the number of chromosomes found in all body cells. So every time a body cell divides, the daughter cells must each have 46 chromosomes. Although there are 46 chromosomes in every body cell, these chromosomes come in pairs, called homologous pairs or homologs. One of this pair came from the female parent, shown here in red, and one came from the male parent, shown here in yellow. The homologs carry genes for the same traits, but not necessarily the same version of that trait. For example, the chromosome from the female parent might carry blood type A, and the male parent might carry blood type O. To produce more cells that have the same number of chromosomes, each one must be replicated. The replicated arms of a chromosome are called sister chromatids. The centromere is the part of the chromosome where the sister chromatids are joined. You can see the sister chromatids in this karyotype where each chromosome has two visible arms. So how and when do chromosomes become replicated? Here is a diagram of the cell cycle. The gray part of the circle is interphase. And it consists of three subphases, G1, S, and G2. G stands for growth. So in the G1 phase, the cells grow in size and make important molecules. S stands for synthesis. So in this phase, the DNA is replicated to make sister chromatids. In the G2 phase, the cell grows in size and makes protein. In the mitotic phase, shown here in dark blue, the sister chromatids separate and become two complete sets within two cells. The division of the cytoplasm is called cytokinesis. In this schematic, you can see that cells are always diploid, or 2N, throughout the cell cycle leading to mitosis. Chromosome replication occurs during interphase, before mitosis. The times 2 designation refers to the replicated chromosomes, which have two sister chromatids. Here are some photos of a plant cell undergoing mitosis. These plant cells are larger and have bigger chromosomes, so cell division is easier to see. The first cell is an interphase, and although the chromosomes are replicating, they appear as a ball of spaghetti. The chromosomes are more easily seen because they have become denser, as you see in this photo of prophase. In this photo, we see that the chromosomes are in the center of the cell, as spindle fibers have attached to the centromeres. The diagram above the photo more clearly shows this attachment. Up to this point, each chromosome is replicated, that is, has sister chromatids. In this photo, the chromatids have now separated and have become single chromosomes, destined for two different cells. Finally, in the last photo, we see the beginning of cytokinesis occur with the formation of the cell plate. Here we see the entire process from interphase through cytokinesis. When does cell division produce cells with only one set of chromosomes? These cells are gametes, egg and sperm in animals, and are used for reproduction. This process is called meiosis. Cells preparing for meiosis undergo interphase, G1, S, and G2, but the process is not a cycle, since the gametes cannot repeat the process and go through the cycle again, as the daughter cells of mitosis can. There are two divisions in meiosis. The replication of the chromatids has already occurred in the S phase of the cell cycle.
the times 2 represents this replication. After meiosis 1, the cells are now haploid represented by N, but the chromosomes are still replicated, denoted by times two. Haploid means that there is only one of each homologous chromosome in the cell. After meiosis two, the sister chromatids separate, and each cell is not only haploid, or N, but chromosomes are single. So in meiosis one, homologous chromosomes are separated and in meiosis two, chromatids are separated. Next, we will simulate mitosis and meiosis using bead models. Be sure to review these terms before you watch the beads activity video.